Live from New York City, it's The Q. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are on the ground at the USS Intrepid at the Hadoop on the Hudson party put on by MapR. It's uh, one, it, I think it's the party of the night tonight here in Big Data Week New York City with Stratacomp, Hadoop World, Big Data NYC. So Jack, a great venue. Yeah, it's excellent here. The, the place is filled, you know, I'm just struck by the technology. There's a Gemini capsule over there, about <laughs> 50 years old. It's about the size, I don't, I, a Volkswagen I think would be much bigger. And to think that those guys went up into space with probably less technology than is on your four-year-old flip phone, amazing. Yeah, not, not much data at all, no. uh, if you look at it. Just gotta get that bounce on the gravity thing, which <laughs> I never quite understood. So, talk about, you guys had some big news today. Why don't you give us a rundown on some of the announcements? Yeah, so we had uh, two big announcements. One was incorporating the MapRDB into our community edition. Uh, that came out. We also reported results from our customers, where the majority of customers reported less than a 12-month payback, 65% uh, a 5x or greater return, and 40% 10x or greater. And that included a subset of those customers that had experience with other distributions. So kind of a testament to when you get serious about Hadoop, you get serious with MapR. And when, when they're getting those return on investments, we're always trying to explore where's the big, the, the big ROI because it's really in value that's released for the customer. It's not necessarily because it's a cheaper way to do it. Right. So, so there are some costs. The 63% was cost reduction that was driving it. Uh, about 41% were top line revenue projects and about 23% were uh, related to risk reduction and risk mitigation. And if, if you add those up, it's greater than 100% because of many customers that are doing multiple applications. That's great. So you've been coming to Hadoop World for longer than you would admit to me before we <laughs> came on camera. And, and the baseball playoffs are going on right now and we like to talk in sports analogies. So kind of where are we? And in, in, in kind of what inning are we in this adoption oh, that's a great question. of big data and, and Hadoop specifically? Early, early innings, uh, but uh, what we've seen is the bases are loaded and we're up. And it, se and it seems to be we're way past now the POC stage. Now people oh, yeah. are really getting in, they're no, I think doing that production. The, the customer announcement we did kind of shows how people are hitting it out of the park with, with Hadoop. And a lot of that is by impacting the operations, impacting the business as it happens. And that's coupling analytics, plus this high arrival rate data from a variety of sources and making adjustments so that you can impact revenue as business is happening, you can mitigate risk as it's happening. It's not just a reporting, a looking back function. Right, right. It's being able to react in real time, which is defined by in time to do something about it, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for hosting a great party. Jack Norris here. We are on the ground uh, at the USS Intrepid at the Hadoop on the Hudson. Uh, if you take a nice picture, tweet that in. I think they've got some prizes. Hadoop Hudson is the hashtag. Jeffrick on the ground. You're watching theCUBE. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff.